We're Mel and Kate, and since the shutdown in March, we would have never imagined it would lead us to our biggest adventure to date, building out a 2014 Sprinter van in Michigan to run our business and lives from full time. We have been hard at work cleaning, rust proofing, installing fans and windows in the van, and making steady progress in order to head out west to spend time with Mel's family in California. Thanks for joining us on the journey as we juggle work, relationships, and family during these crazy, crazy times. Today we are installing the backup camera. And actually the backup camera is pretty cool because not only is there a backup camera, there's also a front camera. And check this out. This got really good reviews on Amazon. One of the best cameras. And it's actually a rear view mirror. Their whole rear view mirror turns into a display. And as soon as you pop it into reverse, you can see everything back there. This just slides on to your rear, current rear view mirror from the back. Just pops on. There's a few electrical things that I need to figure out. Like we need to splice one of the wires into the rear light wire. When you pop it into reverse, then the camera should just pop on. So we'll figure out how to do that. And for right now, what we're going to do is take the wire and get it through the headliner and make sure the camera wire is long enough to go from the back to the front. So let's get started. So here are all the items for the camera. Now I did get an extra kit, which is a hardwire kit for the dash cam. So what this does is instead of draping a wire from the front and plugging it into the uh, cigarette lighter and this wire actually showing and kind of being messy you can get a dash cam kit which will make it nice and clean and the wires will be run up and through here and down into there and then into a fuse box that's in there that connects to then the battery. So that's important because it will be connected to a fuse that's a constant fuse, it's always on. And in this kit, it converts it from 12 volts to five volt, so it doesn't drain the battery. So that gives you a couple other options, like when the van is not on, it'll be still be able to record video. So the idea we have is we're gonna use these clothes hangers we're going to deconstruct them. We're going to make them attach one to another. Hey, babe, do you have some tape? We need some tape. Yep. Blue tape is probably fine. And then we're going to... At first, we thought, you know, we would go this way with the wires and try to pull them out that way through there. But it, I think it's going to be easier to start from here, push it all the way back, get the wires there, and then bring them to the center. So this is the little camera and it's got like night vision and it's like supposed to be really, really good. This whole kit, just, just this kit right here, not including the hardware for the dash cam, just this kit was 150 bucks. This was like an extra, I think 15 bucks. So we're just gonna make sure we have enough wire to run from the back to the front before I climb on the roof and make a hole. This might make it. So this little camera is gonna basically go on the roof right up here. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a spot for a camera. Literally, like, that's where it goes. So from here, do you wanna run this wire back and see if it goes all the way back? The red one, it's okay, yeah. The red one's gonna connect over here. But that one needs to go all the way. Think so? Will it make it? think so. I'll climb on the top uh -huh. and I'll grab a drill and I'll make a hole that's like this big. That might be like one fourth or something. And then see where I can mount it and then just pop, pop it through. And once it's popped through, we will take this wire and then the power wire and loop it in and through and push it to where the current rear view mirror is. This red wire 
needs to be spliced into one of these wires right here. You see these, one of these wires in this entire bundle, like this is a thick bundle of wires. One of those wires is the wire that when you shift into reverse, it makes the reverse lights go on. That's the wire we want. So I need to figure out which one that is and then splice this one into that one. And if I do that successfully, when I go into reverse, then the rear view mirror should work and it will show what this camera is seeing. I believe in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as my wife believes, I'm a believer. You are smart and you've been studying all this stuff. You can do it. I can do it, yay. All right, so I just popped this out. Now there's an option on the roof. There's two options. To pop a hole right through this one or there's a similar one like this in here that's smaller where I can do a hole into there. Now if I do a hole here, the wire from the backup camera to in here is gonna be much longer, like probably this much longer. If I do it into here, the wire is gonna be much shorter and will be exposed to the elements way less. And then once the wire is in here, I can run it through here and through here and hide it even better instead of it coming out this way and then it won't be able to go into here because it'll have to be run. So I think I'm gonna do the smaller one. Oh, see, here's the ground. So that's the ground. Um, a wire will need to go into that. That right there is um, a ground right there. That's the ground. Thanks, Melon, for your awesome hat. Yeah, keeps my ears warm <laughs> on a, a 32 degree day. <laughs> oh, shit. First one was so good. <laughs> There's two options. We can go through that one or that one. And what we're gonna choose is that one so less wire is exposed and we're gonna mount oh, this little guy probably as close as we can get to right here say it now or forever hold well, your peace you're not drilling into wires right no I'm not even drilling into metal. Oh, I can't film anything? This is just... Oh. Hey, I see it. You do? Yeah. Hang on, don't drill anything. I'm putting my finger there. You okay. See my finger? Yeah. <laughs> So I cut part of this gasket off and just we're gonna use the top part because we're probably sick of flex that on anyways. Um, can you grab the wire down there? So here's the contraption. So what we're gonna do is we're installing the backup camera and I've already glued the camera part to the back of the, or to the back roof of the van. There you go. Espresso is kicking in. And instead of taking down this like bulkhead, what we're gonna do is stick this wire with the cables that need to go to the front through here and see if they make it out the right end. <laughs> Babe, can you push this and see where I'm at? My third hand? Yeah. 
wires are secure. Let's see if I can string it through. All right, Woo! that's it. I think we got the wires through. Yes, yes. Hopefully that was the hardest part. I do need to figure out how to connect it to the fuse box and all the electrical stuff. I'm hoping that won't be too hard. Actually, I'm hoping it will be hard so I can embrace the challenge and learn something new. Yes, David Goggins in the house. Okay, one, two, whoo. I finished up the rear view mirror. It's working. What? Yep. Are you serious? Yeah. You got it hooked up and it's like, everything's working? It's all working. <clears throat> hey! I spliced the rear lights wire with this red one. So every time we mm -hmm. go in reverse, it will pop on that camera and we'll show this and we'll show how far we are from something. And then I wired it all the way through. <laughs> down into this pillar and I there's a ground that I had to move and figure out so that's the ground right there so I had to make that hole a little bigger so I could fit a bolt and ground everything <coughs> these what the red and the yellow go to the fuse box so now even when the van isn't on this will work that's amazing One of the joys of having a diesel vehicle is getting to fill it up with this stuff. Death. Diesel exhaust fluid makes the emissions a little bit cleaner and it goes right in there. So you gotta check that every little bit. Sometimes you'll get a little warning and then you just pour it right in there. All right, maintenance complete. One of, the pro <clears throat> One of the projects we're working on today is the creating a storage space above the front seats. And to do that, we simply need to make an exact cut of a piece of plywood and then mount it with brackets. And to do that, I bought a kit from Amazon from a company called Van Sillery. Shout out to Van Sillery. They really make things a lot easier. And what they have done is basically made a little kit with everything you need to build this shelf. So they included some brackets. You got two, two, of, the, two of the bigger ones and two small ones. And then they also included <clears throat> the nuts and screws and washers. The main thing though, is that they have an awesome template ready to cut. So this makes it all worth it. And you can see they already sketched out basically all the lines and exactly the shape of that shelf and the shelf flange which is to prevent things from rolling off. So this will then go on top of a piece of plywood, uh, that one over there, if you can see it, that big one, because it's gotta be, what's the measurements? It's gotta be 26 or 56 inches by at least um, 22. So we need to find a piece of wood that that's big enough, trace it on there, then cut the wood out, and hopefully that'll fit. So one project, onto the next project, and then onto the next project, and then onto the next project. Van life, that's what it's all about.
So I messed up on something. It has to do with woodworking, but it's something I need to do again. But let me show you. So I'm making this headliner shelf and I cut it out the other day. And this piece right here, which is the lip, right? So we'll be able to put like jackets and blankets and pillows in this area. But when you're driving, you don't want anything falling out. So we included a lip, but check this out, okay? You're going, you're going, you're going, it's fine. But then look, once I try to line it up, this much space, that's off. You see how that's not straight. It got cut wrong. Ugh, so I'm gonna have to make that piece all over again. Because what we're planning on doing is actually upholstering this putting some fabric, gluing some fabric over it and over this. So we gotta make sure it looks nice. So I just finished cutting another piece of wood and guess what? It came out great. Check this out. So I just mounted it on here and look at how flush it sits. I mean, look, at, it doesn't get any better than that. And then on this end where it was messed up, you can tell that it's just flush, it's sitting right on there. Next part is gluing it and I'm going to use some of my good friend Elmer. He's got wood glue max and this will be good to go. I sanded it all and then we're going to go to the fabric store and get some sort of fabric to glue onto there so it's nice and upholstered. What we have to do is put a thin strip of glue on this piece of wood. Once that's done, we're gonna push this in. We're each gonna take an end to make sure it's super flush. Push it tight together. Once it's tight and even, and we can feel all the edges are lined up and flush. That's Mel's favorite word if you didn't know. Um, then he's gonna hold it in place and I am going to reclamp everything to give it the maximum support when it's drying. You guys want to watch this happen? Hopefully it goes very smooth. Oh, flush! <laughs> With Elmer's! <laughs> Out of here, guys! Oh, flush! <laughs>um, it looks super kind of indestructible and easy to clean and we wanted something neutral to kind of match the rest of it. So we picked this gray stuff out and now we are working on, we cut out this for the bottom and now we're working on cutting these little slits around the corners. So we watched a great instructional video from Caravan, something Caravan. Our Caravan. So we watched an awesome, like the best instruction video from our caravan um, on YouTube and they did a great kind of tutorial on how to do this. I already was like c confused about how to make the corners nice and tight, but they did these awesome little cuts and it makes sense because basically you just kind of start as you glue these in, you layer them to just kind of lay over each other and make the rounded edge nice and tight and clean um, and you can adjust as you go. So that's what we're doing now. We're gonna do the four corners. Um, ours is gonna be a little bit different because we already have this piece in. So we are going to get really creative and figure out an awesome way to, yeah, not an awesome way to make this stick, we'll just make it stick. Yep, and what are we using to make it stick? 3M, high strength 90. We have four cans of it. We don't need that many, we just have a lot of cans of it. Another tip that they gave was to spray both the wood and um, the back side of the fabric that you're gluing down so it's extra sticky and then once we get the bottom side glued on taken care of let it dry then we're going to actually do an exact tracing 
of this and that will be put on top and glued down right in place and we won't have to do that again. So, I'm excited. I think we're gonna rock this. I think so too. And it feels cool because it's like a finishing piece. And we need our special friend, the roller. I knew it. Goes great with coffee. And smooths out wrinkles. Wrinkles? No, no for me, not you. <laughs> hey, what are you trying to do? <laughs> So we have moved on, we've got the bottom ready to go. Um, and what I actually did was, if you can see it, I did a light stencil the whole way around so that when we go to put it back in place, it's really easy to line it up. And the next thing I did is I took our remaining fabric and put our headliner right on top of the fabric here. And I traced all the way around here. So I will cut that out. And once the bottom piece is glued in and tucked in, the cutout top piece that I just traced here will go right on top of here. All right. Woo. I guess the same rules apply, so we gotta let it sit for about a minute. Let's sit for one minute and then we split. Dun, 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 dun. Look, there's like a bunch of them that all came together. Yeah. They had a little meetup. <laughs> Wildlife meetup. All the way back to Tom. There's something out here. There is definitely. That's crazy. I mean, it's just cool to see. Someone's spooking around out here. Getting in the headliner shelf today. So there will be a nice shelf that sits right there by the end of today. That's the goal. <laughs> I think we can do it. I think we can. Making good progress. Yeah, that shelf's going to be awesome. It's just extra storage. Here's the shelf we made. How's it look, babe? <laughs> it's a little dirty. It looks awesome. I'm stoked. We got some real tight tucked corners. And we just need a little like scissors or I a lighter to kind of burn the edges to get rid of the stuff. Okay, right back in there. I think it's time for the shelf. Hopefully. All right, let's load it in. Putting our shelf in. Oh, look at his wood. <laughs> huh? Wow. He caught us at a good moment. Hi. Yeah. Look at that. all additional little storage space up here. Yeah. This is where our nieces and nephews can sleep. Yeah. I can see that. Once they sleep, they won't get out of there. Yeah. Either. 